I'm heading up to New Paltz, New York this weekend to attend Quail Hollow Arts Festival. And right now it is time to load the van. Thanks for your help, Dad. Welcome. Bubba, thanks for your help too. The van is loaded and I'm ready to go. We just made the drive up to New Paltz, New York. I'll be attending Quail Hollow Arts Festival this weekend. We're here, we gotta unload the van, get my booth set up, and then I'm super excited to spend my Labor Day weekend in New Paltz, New York. It's time to unload my van. My booth is all set up and I am ready for the weekend. My booth is all covered up for the night. I'll be back tomorrow for day one of the show. Can you put that in? Yeah. Thanks for your help, Mom. You're welcome. Me and my mom are here in New Paltz at Quail Hollow Arts Festival. It is day one. We're heading over to my booth now to finish setting it up and getting ready for the day. It's day one of Quail Hollow Arts Festival in New Paltz, New York. I'm excited to be here and can't wait to meet some new readers this weekend. She's studying chapter. Oh, okay. And then Gray's about here and learns to be brave and you're a little superhero girl that stands up for a boy. The artist, the artist, the same artist did all the spots. So this one's acceptance and loving people for who they are. They're all different. That makes them beautiful. Yell in, so being kind. This one's about separation anxiety and when you're missing your mom. Gray is fear and learn to be brave and you have a little superhero girl that stands up for a boy getting to the school. This one's acceptance and loving people for who they are. So we're all different. That makes the world a beautiful place. Uh, acceptance and loving people for who they are, so we're all different, that makes the world beautiful. This one is gratitude and being thankful, and then this one's all about sadness and learning your strong and safe and So feel free to pick them up and take some look at Okay, so this one here is about um, a man named Stone, a superhero girl that stands up for a boy named Lily School. Purple is acceptance and loving people for who they are, so we're all different, that makes the world a beautiful place. 
yellow to be the champion, so there's a whole earth magic system we're trying to see if we get it. Humans evolving into the elements, earth, fire, water, air, and you follow the main character on a futuristic alpha one to be as a joy of this video. One, two, three. Throughout this series, you meet the champion, so there's a whole earth magic system we're trying to save humanity uh, from this dystopia. Sadness and learning you're strong enough to get the tech on, so nice to meet in the YA, I've got a nature dystopia about a woman who thinks that she's talking to her. And in Grace Box, it's all about fear and learning to and you have a little superhero girl that stands up for a boy getting into the If you want to look, you can take a look. I'll look at the pages and pictures. Throughout the series, you meet the champions with the whole first magic sisters trying to save humanity. Not even going to be more story as well. But that's all these guys. Children's books, so I've got sharing kindness and friends, separation anxiety. 4,000 years later, humans evolve into the elements of the sky on a futuristic alpha more than like a triple side of And this one's a standing one, but a young boy goes to a fishing boat. Yeah. 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 It's sadness and learning your songs and it's like Feel free to pick them off, look through the illustrations of This one's separation anxiety and helping kids when they're missing their loved ones. Uh, gratitude and being thankful. Acceptance and loving people for who they are. About a woman who thinks the trees are talking to her. She's like, this is crazy, I'm losing it. This is about gratitude and being thankful. And this one is the spot, same when it's here, just in the what's going on in the world and I'm like what message do we need this year <laughs> and I try to like kind of keep it relatable. Uh, my novels come like sometimes I have to write about the premise like I wonder about loneliness, loneliness but like I feel like it's crazy fishing, magical fishing village setting around it. Kind of just, I'll take an idea. And I'm, 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 you finished it? Yes. Nice. So we got book two and book three and then I also went back and gave all the girls a little order this year. I've done one if any questions, I can totally tell you what they're all about. Yeah, go for it. This is a fancy version. Sharing kindness and making friends. That's a nice tweet. From all over the world, from the different elements of nature, trying to save humanity. And after I finished it, I was like, these girls are so cool. They deserve their own story. So I'm going to go back and each one that owns That'll be a quarter for This is age. I had that just that vibe, kind of, that whimsical, spooky vibe. I've got this one about humans evolving into the elements, earth, fire, water, air, and you follow the main characters in the sky on a future G about Juniper. She thinks the trees are talking to her because it's crazy and losing it, but then supernatural things start happening and she realizes that she might not be as crazy as she thought. Paranormal about a young boy that moves to a fishing village. He has to save the town from a paranormal friend he accidentally finishes. It's just more spooky. You've got a good imagination. Supernatural things start happening and she realizes that she might be as crazy as she thought. But one, two, three, all about a man made of stone who finds a heart made of glass. He's used to breathing things, so he's not sure what to do. And he goes on a quest to find the owner of the heart. He's all turned around, he's featured from different lands, and he learns this glass heart this time. Oh, that's uh, book one and two in one. So two and one. So, really great way. Give a little, little idea of how to cope with those tough days. This one's about uh, fear and learning to grade, and you have a superhero girl. This is sharing kindness with friends. Purple, acceptance, and loving people for who they are. So have him reach out, or you can reach out and let me know. I'm going to read it first, and then I'll Oh, well, let me know how you like it, too. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. What are you guys thinking? Okay, that was the thing. an old man that's completely doing it. Why are you not? It's sad. No, the tough times have made me kind of watch it. So it's a really nice, like, positive thing. Uh, this one is, I'll take it, I'll take it for as long as that lasts. <laughs> Starting at first. Yes. There, so it's 10, 15, 20, and then it's 20. 4,000 years later, humans evolve into the elements, earth, fire, water, air, and you follow the main character on a futuristic Alice in Wonderland adventure. Two, 
Supernatural things start happening and she realizes she might not be as crazy as she thought. Save the town from a paranormal, be magical, or like a whimsical convert. Yeah. Yeah. So that's fun. Yeah, they're all similar. And actually, parts of this story appear over in book three. So there's a bit of a crossover, but this is true. I love how like they're all connected. Day one of Quail Hollow Arts Festival is complete. It was an awesome day. Met so many great new readers, and I'm excited to come back tomorrow. My booth is all packed up for the night. Time to head back to the hotel and get some food and rest. Time to leave the fairgrounds. We're heading back to Poughkeepsie to get some food and some rest. Day two, hey mom. Day two of Quail Hollow Arts Festival. We're walking to my booth right now and we're gonna get my table set up and start the day. It's day two at Quail Hollow Arts Festival in New Paltz, New York. The forecast is saying rain, but so far it's a perfect day. Fingers crossed that it stays this way. I'm excited to be here and I can't wait to meet some new readers today. On the adult side of my table, I have the Heyman's Duology or Two in one with hardcover, but all about a futuristic addiction that takes over Russia, turns people into superhuman modern day monsters, and we follow the dark love story of a guy trying to save his fiance, but she's wrapped up with the Russian royals and does not want to be saved. The Namate series is a high fantasy world build all about a man made of stone who finds a heart made of glass. He goes on an adventure to find the owner of the glass heart, but gets all turned around, each creature's from different lands, and learns his glass heart doesn't have the best intentions. Bit of a misadventure. We got book one, two, three, four. Super fun read, nice and meaty, lots of plot lines, lots of morally great characters, and a bit of a redemption story in book one. My children's books, we've got the Spot series, which is Purple Spots, about acceptance and loving people for who they are. We're all different, that makes the world a beautiful place. Blue Spots is about sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. Yellow Spots is about gratitude and being thankful for all the little things in life. Gray Spots is all about fear and learning to be brave, and you have a superhero girl standing up for a boy getting bullied at school. And then these guys, we've got Where the Gardens Grow, which is all about sharing kindness and making friends. And When You're Missing Me is about separation anxiety and, and helping kids cope when they're missing their loved ones. These girls get their own little origin story because of how they become a champion over in Hall of Lost. And then if she likes paranormal, this is about a young boy in a fishing village. He has to save the town from a paranormal at school. When You're Missing Me is about separation anxiety and helping kids cope when they're missing their loved ones. Yellow spots is gratitude and being thankful, learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. And purple spots is uh, acceptance and loving people for who they are. One, two, three. Throughout the series, you meet the champions, so there's a whole earth magic system here. They represent different elements of nature, and they band together to try to save humanity over here. Each girl is going to get their own little bit of gratitude, uh, fear and being brave, and acceptance and loving people for who they are. Hands up for a boy getting bullied at school. Yellow is gratitude and being thankful for all the little things in life. Where the Gardens Grow is sharing kindness and making friends. Acceptance. This is about sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. This is gratitude and being thankful, so being thankful for all the little things in life. This is about separation anxiety and helping kids cope when they're missing their loved ones. Then this is about sharing kindness and making friends. And you're more than welcome to help you. Cool. Why fantasy do you have to And the YA novels are good for anyone that can remember Harry Potter, Percy Jackson. You got a nature dystopia, uh, paranormal, good Halloween read. This one is humans evolving. Yes. And everyone's pink or cold. Right. Yeah. 
separation a little bit. You can hear it. It's coming down. Day two of Quail Hollow Arts Festival is complete. It was an awesome day. Uh, the rain mostly held off. We only got a little bit towards the end, um, but otherwise it was a beautiful day. And we'll be back tomorrow for round three. Now it's time to pack up my booth and then head back to Poughkeepsie to get sleep and food, or food and sleep. Booth is all packed up for the day. All right. One more day tomorrow. So that's my tent, just came out of there. And there's actually a really cool view of Mohonk Preserve over there. It's the last day of Quail Hollow Arts Festival. It's been an awesome weekend so far. We did wake up to a bit of rain this morning. It's drizzling, but it should clear up around 10 or 11. So uh, yeah, my booth's set up and I'm ready to go. Hall of Mosses is a nature dystopia about Juniper who thinks the trees are talking to her. I guess it's crazy, I'm losing my mind, but then supernatural things start happening and she realizes that she might not be as crazy as she thought. Book one, book two is Field of Ashes, and book three is Veil of Fire. Throughout the trilogy, you meet the Champions, which is a whole earth magic sisterhood of women representing different elements of nature, and they band together to try to save humanity in the Hall of Mosses trilogy. Evo is about humans evolving into the elements, earth, fire, water, air, and you follow the main character from the sky on a futuristic Alice in Wonderland-like adventure as she tries to save the world from humans who have not evolved into the elements. Nether Isle is paranormal, about a young boy that moves to a fishing village. He gets caught up in a world of mystical secrets and magic, and he has to save a town from a paranormal threat he accidentally unleashes. It's spooky, it's magical, and it has a bit of a whimsical Tim Burton vibe. Trilogy about Juniper, she thinks the trees are talking to her. 
crazy, I'm losing it. But then supernatural things start happening and she realizes she might not be as crazy as she thought. This is sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. This is sharing kindness and making friends. This one's all about separation anxiety and helping kids get the same person right No! Yeah, yeah, these are all my book babies, yes. <laughs> Yeah. One is this, and it's all about uh, Juniper who thinks the trees are talking to her. This is crazy, I'm losing it. And then supernatural things start happening, and she realizes that she might not be as crazy as she thought. This is about a young boy in a fishing village. He has to leave the town from a paranormal threat and accidentally leaves Stephen King. She got those like, kind of like psychological thriller or like a twist. So this is my most like traditional, like scary one. Um, purple spots about acceptance and loving people for who they are. We're all different, that makes the world a beautiful place. Forever. I want to buy the stuffed animal or something. So oh, okay. See what happens. Nice. Then it'll be the best day ever. <laughs> I've got these. Then I've got young adult fantasy novels. So that's good for like all different ages. Yeah? Do you want to do this one? Do you want to get matching books? Sure. Do book club? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Give me a name. Uh, how are you? So we've got yellow spots, which is about gratitude and being thankful for all the little things in life. Blue is sadness and learning you're strong enough to get through tough times. Purple is acceptance and loving people for who they are. They're different, that makes you beautiful. Yeah, feel free to pick them up and look through them. And then I got these two guys. This is about separation anxiety and helping kids cope when they're missing their loved ones. And this one's all about sharing kindness and making friends. Sadness and learning is strong enough to get through tough times. Purple spots and acceptance and loving people as they are. And then gray spots is that fear and learn to be brave and your little superhero girl that stands up for a boy. So this one's paranormal and it's about a young boy in a fishing village who has to save the town from a paranormal threat he accidentally emerges. So the paranormal threat is this one. But it's fun. Lots of books. It's about fear and learn to be brave. We fought the sadness and learning to get through tough times. And it was so funny. And I don't know what. It always happens at the kids. But I go to Comic Con. People come up and just be like, we be I'm like, oh my god. But it's true, it just happens sometimes. I know, I know. <laughs> Blue spots in hardcover. Uh, I've got purple spots, which is about acceptance and loving people for who they are. kindness and making friends. Blue spots. So that's fear and learn to be brave, and you have a little super little girl to help her. Yep. Nice spots. Not be as crazy as she thought. Throughout this series, you meet the champions of such a woman who's saying to nature. A futuristic addiction that takes over Russia, turns people into superhuman modern day monsters, and you follow the dark box story of a guy trying to save his fiance. She's wrapped up with the Russian royals and does not want to save her. The way it works is you get a blue spot every time something sad happens. And the boy is afraid to get his first blue spot. Then he meets an old man, and then supernatural things start happening, and she realizes that she might not be as crazy as she thought. It's a lot of magic. It's kind of like a whimsical sort of burn in my life. Uh, do you like dark thrillers or high fantasy thrillers? Okay. The final day of Quail Hollow Arts Festival is complete. It was an awesome weekend and I'm super appreciative to everyone who stopped by my booth and gave my books new homes. Now it's time to break down my booth, get everything into the van and head back to New Jersey. All your books. This is why I don't put all my books in one box. <laughs> Thank you.
kind of works. Okay. The rain kind of feels nice. <laughs> Bookshelves are sandwiched and loaded. Or two of them aren't, I get one more in. I'm gonna figure out how to put the other bits on top of that. Not my usual. I think you could put some of those boxes on top of these flat tables here. I'm kind of wondering if I get, I don't think it'll move. The car is packed. We played a little game of Jenga, but we got it all in. Now it's time to head back to New Jersey. The Hudson Valley is gorgeous. It was nice to spend my Labor Day weekend here. Uh, but for now, we are in the van. It's all loaded up. Uh, we're heading back to New Jersey. It's a two hour car drive. And um, yeah, I'm excited for pajamas and dinner. Uh, but it was a great weekend. I loved meeting everyone that came out to my booth and gave my books new homes. But for now, it's time to check out and get ready for the next show, which is Collingswood Book Festival. That happens on October 1st. So I've got about a month to prep for that one.